Yo, YouTube. You know, <laughs> I had to I had to take a moment to think about what I was going to say in this video because to be quite honest with you, I I was just drawing up a blank. I even got cut the game off. Mm, I think I was about midway through the fourth quarter. I think it was probably right after right after Kalen Balaj juggled that juggled that pass and then Jamie Collins picked it off and took it back for a pick six. Uh, but one thing that I will say about the Miami Dolphins defense, they did somewhat of a decent job being able to contain Brady. But at the same time, when I'm thinking about it, you win against you win against Tom Brady for the past 12 years. I'm, I would hope that you knew how to contain him just a little bit. So I wouldn't look too too deep into that. But the offense, man, just looked atrocious literally atrocious like we didn't even have over 100 yards of total offense going into the second half like i said this sure looks like a a joe philbin offense to be quite honest with you us, us losing in the time of possession they had us nearly by 20 minutes in the time of possession category um but uh ryan fitzpatrick was 11 for 21 89 yards and threw three picks three picks like this is just this is getting out of hand, man. I I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to scream for Rosen to be the next to starter now. But to be honest with you, I don't even want Josh Rosen to be the starter for the whole season because this offensive line is playing terrible. Now I will say this: uh, Josh Rosen, when he came in, played pretty fairly well. Well, the first two drives it looked fairly well, but uh, a cup two drops by Jakeem Grant, and a drop by by Preston Williams nice beautiful bombs too so i'm pretty sure they're gonna try to get josh rosen in there as a starting quarterback based off of what they seem in the scene in the limited time that they had him in there but yeah man like i i, I to be honest with you i don't know what the, what the miami dolphins objective is here because that's two weeks in a row we ended up being held giving up more than 30 points I believe that's a record, actually. They pulled they pulled that up as a record. This is the first time Miami has played New England at home, and they were held scoreless. That's crazy, man. That, that's that's literally crazy. But again, like I said, uh, the Miami Dolphins defense did okay. Did an okay job. The Miami Dolphins offense needs work bad, bad. Like like you need work. like it's just the most embarrass embarrassing game to actually sit down and watch. Got the Dallas Cowboys next week. I hope we can pull something together. Like that'd be that'll like raise my morale up if we were somehow able to get the Dallas Cowboys. Also, I just wanted to touch on this real fast before I ended up forgetting uh, Eric Rowe and Jamal Wilts. They got the go, dogs. They got the go. Like they just getting dead bodied out there. Like literally, especially Eric Rowe. He got Julian Edelman was abusing him. Like the referees were calling penalties on him during the game. Like it was just, it was just getting ugly. And Jamal Wilts, he tries, he tries so hard, but he is just not, he's, he's just not getting it done. I'm going to say the same thing. Like I said last week and the week before that, I don't even understand how he even ended up making a team. Cause I really didn't like the way he played in the preseason and just seeing him playing the way that he played the last two weeks, like, we just need to end up making an adjustment. Maybe it's time to bring Bobby McCain back back around in that area somewhere. Uh, but <laughs> uh, it's it's just it's just it's just bad. It's just literally just bad. And just for like I said, just for us to give up over thirty points two weeks in a row, that's just that's just atrocious. But like I said, we got the Dallas Cowboys next week. This is just. It's hard. It's hard being a Miami Dolphins fan right now. Like I wish I could have a little bit more to say, but I just don't. I really just don't. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is a great one, Devore. I'm up out of here.